the Joe Rogan experience. That's hilarious. So uh, what's happening, man? You, you just got off of the um, Chan Sung Jung fight. Yeah. And what's next? What are you up to? I'm going to go down 35. Yeah? You know. Uh, I How think much do you walk around at? I'm probably like 56 right now. Wow. You know, so for, for 45, well. For Marlon's got to be bigger than you, right? Marlon is about a little bit bigger than me. Yeah, I think so. I think he walks around a little heavier. He's a little bit more of an eater than I am. Dude, that guy, I can't. I have a hard time believing he makes 35 sometimes. You look yeah. at him. He's so jacked. He's got such a small waist, though. Mm. But, I mean, he's so, his legs and shoulders are so yeah. big, but his waist is kind of small, so maybe that's how he carries it. So have you done a cut like that before? I haven't been. But, I mean, even my last fight, I think I, I was, you know, getting down to 45. got down to, like, 44.5. I mean, it's only eight and a half over where I got to be for to make 36, and it was such an easy cut for this last time. So... Oh. It's you're you're an interesting situation, man, because like you won the title at 55 and you didn't cut any weight at all. And a lot of people were like, well, fuck, man, Frankie Edgar can do it. Because you the thing about you at 55 was you were so durable. Like that was one of the craziest things about some of your fights, like the Gray Maynard fights. Like, yeah. Fucking a man. Who who ref those fights? Um, Eve Levine. Both of them? No, the first one. The uh, first second one. one, I think, was Ro Josh Rosenthal. Well, b shout out to both of those guys. Yeah. Because uh, a trigger-hungry referee who's got an itchy trigger finger, they would have stopped those fights. Now, I think nowadays someone might stop it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Back then, I feel like they let it go a little more. I mean, of course, there's still sometimes they let it go a little it too all long changes. now. It depends. You, you know? never know. You never know. It all changes. It's such a weird thing, right? It's like the referee is trying to help the fighter. They're trying to make sure that the fighter doesn't take unnecessary damage. But, you know, more than once, you see fights stopped where you're like, oh, that guy wasn't done. Right. He was, he was getting through a bad patch, and that's part of what a fight is about. It's like trying to figure out how to survive. For sure. I, I always want the benefit of the doubt. I, you know, yeah. I, I don't want to get unnecessary punishment, of course, um, but I'd, I'd rather get the benefit of the doubt. I, I, I've never been turned off, even with Ortega and Chan Zung Jung fight. I got ro both those fights, uh, even though I got rocked in my other fights, these fights, I kind of was more coherent. Um, I'm not complaining about the stoppages or anything like that. You know, I could see why they stopped it. But uh, in the great fights, even the Benson Henderson fight where I got up kicked, I don't remember any of those fights you know i remember like three four rounds of those fights just because it was so wild just because of getting hit yeah because i got hit and i kept getting hit maybe and maybe that's why yeah. i didn't remember um the the ortega fight i got rocked pretty good and i remember in my head saying all right just short time left let's get through it. let's get through it obviously uh didn't make it to the end and uh you know but i did i remembered being coherent even this last one with with uh korean zombie i remember the ref saying you know you got to do something down there you got to do something down there and i was you know I was trying to do my best my body maybe wasn't reacting the way i needed mm. to be but uh yeah you know i never been turned off you know I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not but uh i don't know if it's a good thing yeah. either it's like some people say if you get turned off it's better because then you you're you don't absorb as much punishment right. i've heard that argument but then if you do get turned off your body gets turned off easier next time that's that's pretty true yeah or well, at least seems, seems like to be it true. seems like yeah, yeah guys that get cracked they can kind of continually get cracked and, and get rocked a little easier um I'm hoping that's not the case for me. <laughs> well, it's, it's not. It's more of the actual knockout itself. Yeah, like yeah, I, I think like a, a, a bad, like a bad yeah. knockout. Yeah, it's crazy that you have had a bunch of fights where you don't remember most of the fight. Like that. That's a thing that a lot of fighters don't necessarily talk about, but it's a reality of hard fights. Yeah, the my, my second fight with Gray, where um, Eve Levine was the the, the referee. I remember, uh, I think the fourth round, Mark, my coach Mark was like, you know, telling me, we got one more round. And in my head, I'm like, one more round? What happened to three and four? I didn't remember wow. at all. And also, I, I when I dropped me, I, I rolled my ankle really bad, probably a grade two sprain. And I remember in the fourth round coming to, and my ankle was hurting me. I'm like, what happened? To I have no idea what happened to my ankle. And even wow. got walking back, you know, I was, was kind of, you know, I don't know. Sometimes when you get rocked, you get depressed for some reason. Oh, I really? noticed that even in the gym. When, they get, when I get rocked, they, I get a little bit of depression going on for some reason. Like, what does it feel like when you say depression? Like, what, like what? Uh, my middle ball, you know, you're just down on yourself, you know? Mm. Um, I was emotional. I think I was crying after the gray fight in the, in the locker room. I think they, they have camera back there, and there's a video of me. Even like, the second it, fight when you stopped him? Not the second fight, but the, the, the second. Well, the, that was the second fight, not the yeah. third fight. The third fight you stopped the him. Third That's fight right, the second him. fight you won. Right. The, the fucking fights that you had with gray were so crazy. They were so he was so big. Yeah, he was a big boy, man. Oh, so big for fifty five, you know. And yeah. you were a guy who didn't cut any weight at all. Nothing. I was. I literally would eat breakfast on weigh-in day. Wow. 
That's crazy. Yeah. We, we, did you ever think back then about dropping it down? Or were I, you just like, fuck it, I'm the champ. Why, yeah, why should I, well, I? that's why. I was like, yeah. I'm the champ. Why should I go down? I mean, I'm winning. I'm beating these guys. Yeah. Um, even the Benson Henders fights, they were super close. You know, I could have went either way. And, um, but I just felt, you know, let me, all right, I'll go down now. I lost two in a row here. What, you know, what, what more can I gain from here? Let me go down to 45. And that's, that's when I fought Aldo for, for the 45 uh, pound belt. When you think about it, like if you had a chance to do it all over again, like if you had to engineer your career all over again, would you do it exactly the same way? Would you fight at 55? Well, you definitely would against BJ, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't. You, you can't go back and change those things. Right, you right, know? right. It, it all worked out for me. You know, I, I got a world title. Um, I had a pretty. You know, I'm continuing to have a pretty good career. Uh, there's always things you wish you could do differently. You know, you just. I can't be that guy that's going to say, oh, "I wish I did this. Wish I did that." Things went the way they went. Well, they went pretty fucking good. I mean. <laughs>